find the standing position of stability and poise, upper body balanced over your hips and shoulders in a comfortable but alert posture, hands and arms hanging by their own weight, like heavy curtains, stable and relaxed. Actually sensing into your body, feeling your feet, legs, hips, lower and upper body, arms, shoulders, neck, head. And when you're ready, allowing your eyes to close, bringing awareness to breath, the actual physical sensations, feeling each breath as it comes in and goes out, letting the breath be just as it is without trying to change or regulate it, allowing it to flow easily and naturally with its own rhythm and pace, knowing you are breathing perfectly well right now, nothing for you to do. Allowing the body to be still and sitting with a sense of dignity, a sense of resolve, a sense of being complete, whole, in this very moment, with your posture reflecting this sense of wholeness. As you stand here, letting an image form in your mind's eye of the most magnificent mountain you know or have seen or can imagine, letting it gradually come into greater focus. And even if it doesn't come as a visual image, allowing the sense of this mountain and feeling its overall shape, its lofty peak or peaks high in the sky, the large base rooted in the bedrock of the Earth's crust, its steep, gently sloping sides. Noticing how massive it is, how solid, how unmoving, how beautiful, whether from afar or up close. Observing it, noting its qualities and when you feel ready, seeing if you can bring the mountain into your own body, standing here so that your body and the mountain in your mind's eye become one, so that as you stand here, you share in the massiveness and the stillness and majesty of the mountain, you become the mountain. Grounded in a standing posture, your head becomes the lofty peak, supported by the rest of the body and affording a panoramic view. Your shoulders and arms the sides of the mountain. Your legs the solid base, rooted to the ground beneath you, experiencing your body a sense of uplift from deep within your feet and spine. With each breath, as you continue standing, becoming a little more a breathing mountain, alive and vital, yet unwavering in your inner stillness, completely where you are, beyond words and thought, a centered, grounded, and moving presence. And as you stand here, becoming aware of the fact that as the sun travels across the sky, the light and shadows and colors are changing virtually moment by moment in the mountain stillness and the surface teems with life and activity, streams, melting snow, waterfalls, birds, fishes, plants and wildlife. As the mountain stands, seeing and feeling how night follows day and day follows night, the bright warming sun followed by the cool night sky studded with stars and the gradual dawning of a new day. Through it all, the mountain just stands, experiencing change in each moment, constantly changing, yet always just being itself. It remains still as the seasons flow into one another and as the weather changes moment by moment and day by day, 
calmness abiding all change. People might come to see the mountain and comment on how beautiful it is or how it's not a good day to see the mountain that is too cloudy or rainy or foggy or dark. None of these matters to the mountain, which remains at all times its essential self. Clouds may come and clouds may go. People might like it or not. The mountain's magnificence and beauty are not changed one bit by whether people see it or not, seen or unseen, in sun or clouds, broiling or frigid, day or night. It just stands being itself. Through it all, the mountain stands. Through it all, the mountain continues to stand, unmoved by the weather, by what happens on its surface, by the world of appearances, remaining its essential self through the seasons, the changing weather, the activity ebbing and flowing on its surface. In the same way, as we stand, we learn to experience the mountain, we embody the same central, unwavering stillness and groundedness in the face of everything that changes in our lives over seconds, over hours, over years. By becoming the mountain, we can link up with its strength and stability and adopt them for our own. We can use its energies to support our energy to encounter each moment with mindfulness and equanimity and clarity. The weather of our own lives is not to be ignored or denied. It is to be encountered, honored, felt, known for what it is and held in awareness. And in holding it in this way, we come to know a deeper silence and stillness and wisdom. Mountains have this to teach us, reminding us of what it means to stand mindfully with resolve and with wakefulness in true stillness. So, in the time that remains, continue to sustain the mountain on your own, in silence, moment by moment, until you hear the sounds of the bells. Thank you.